finding decimals on the number line. We're going to be finding decimals on the number line. As always, whatever Miss Neville writes down, you want to write down as well. So before we can get started with this, we want to make sure that we review decimal place value. We want to make sure we review decimal place value. We want to remember that after that decimal, we have two places there. The first place directly behind the decimal is our tenths place. And the second place behind that decimal is our hundredths place. So if I saw the number 0 0.71, that's 7 tenths and 1 hundredths, 71 hundredths, okay? We want to remember that when we're looking at this, we're going to go ahead and create our first horizontal number line today. Remember, whatever Ms. Neville draws, you draw as well. And we're going to look first at the positive side of our number line, everything to the right of our zero. If this is zero and this is one, just a reminder from our lesson yesterday, what would this place be? One half as a fraction. It's important for us to know that as a decimal, one half is 0 0.5. Hey guys, could I put a zero there? I could. But I don't have to have it there. Remember yesterday, we broke it down even more. Where we were able to look at the fourths as well. Remember yesterday in our study of fractions, half of one half is one fourth. Very good. And one fourth written as a decimal is 0 0.25. Remember, one fourth, two fourths or one half, three fourths, 0 0.75, just like 3 quarters equals 75 cents. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Delilah made a good observation here. Though as I go to the right, my decimal gets larger. Yeah, as I move to the right of the zero, the decimal gets larger. And I'll write that down in a second. I want to give everybody some time to get that first part done. Yes, there's more value in a positive number the farther it is away from zero on the number line. Star statement in our notes. Please don't talk while Miss Neville is. The further we move right, from the zero, the larger the number becomes. I'll move that up in a second. I want to make sure I give everyone time to get that first part done. Let's look at, tick mark, comparing positive numbers. That's numbers or decimals. That's numbers to the right of our zero.
if we look back at our number line, which is greater, 0 0.75 or 0 0.25? Yeah. Raise your hand and tell me why. Why is 0 0.75 greater? Roosevelt? Very good. Taylor? I love it. That's what I need you to understand here. That's going to be what we want to know here. 0 0.75 is greater because I usually do an abbreviation there because 0 0.75 is further away from zero. on our number line. Yes. So now let's look at negative numbers. Now let's look at numbers. We're going to make another number line to the left of our zero. Now we're going to look at those negative integers. I'll move my hand in a second. We want to remember that with negative numbers, the further we move from zero, the smaller the number becomes. So we want to remember that the further we are from zero, star statement, on a number line, and you may want to highlight this because it's super important. With negative numbers, are smaller. Yes, they have less value as they move further from zero. So we'll do the same thing here. If this is zero and this is negative one, what would this be? this point. Tanya, what would this point be? Yeah, negative 0 0.5. Remember, it's really important that we make that difference there. It's really important that we make that difference there. So we can break this half down into quarters. That would be negative 0 0.25 and negative 0 0.75. So if we're comparing here, if we're comparing here, negative 2.5 will be larger than negative 0 0.5 because it's closer to zero. Let's write that down here. Negative 0 0.25 is larger than negative 0 0.5 because it's closer to zero on our number line. The first one's on the bottom. Let's go ahead and write that down. We're moving right into our guided practice here. And we want to make a number line that's going to go from positive 2. Remember, positive 2 is in the sky. And negative 2 is below ground. 0 is going to be right here in the middle.
We want to remember here that two, two is opposite to negative two. These two are opposites. So what's the opposite of positive one? Negative, negative one. So we're now going to create where our decimals would go here. We want to get um, put the half marks there. Whatever Ms. Neville's doing, you're doing as well. We want to put the half marks here. If this is zero and this is one, what would this be as a decimal? 0 0.5, very good. So this would be, would this be 0 0.5? This will be 1.5. Look at where Miss Neville is. I need you to pay attention. One and a half would be right in between one and two. Now, Michael, let's move below water. If this is zero and this is negative one, what would this be? Very good. Kevin, what would this be? Negative what? Very good. Let's make sure we have that made there. Now you want to feel free to pause this video if you need to, as Ms. Neville's doing this lesson with you, just to make sure you get caught up. But what we want to do is these four examples here, we want to use these four examples to make a less, a uh, greater than, a less than or an equal to sign. Okay? So can someone tell me, Jonathan, what's the relationship between two, positive two, and negative two? Which one's greater than the other? Or is one greater than the other? Very good. So when I ask for the relationship here, I'm asking for to tell me about the less than or greater than here. The relationship here is positive two is greater than negative two. Can you start doing B for me, please? Then you can move to C and D as well. Let's look here. Guys, tell me, what's the relationship here? Negative 0 0.5 is less than positive 1. Oh, it's frozen, sorry. <laughs> C, negative 1.5 is less than 0 0.5. That's a positive. And D, Negative 2 is less than 1.5. Very good. So for our independent practice today, we're going to want to uh, label our paper just as Miss Neville has. You want to make sure you put your own first name here. Today's date is October 19th. And then math, your, your class period. So math 5th or 6th. Today, we're going to be working on pages 38 and pages 39. I want you to pause the video now to finish heading your paper as Ms. Neville's asked you to. So today, for our guided practice or our independent practice, we're going to start on page 38. Can you turn to page 38 for me? And we're going to be working on A, B, C, and D. For A, you're going to create this number line in, on your paper just as Miss Neville has. Please pause the video now and finish making your number line. So after we create our number line, we're going to plot each of these points, being sure you have all the tick marks that you need there, on the line. Okay, Each tick mark is a 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 